lot of people here. Yeah, this ain't York Lions. And besides, this game is like the culmination of a 28 game Aperture Closure season. What the hell does that mean? Okay, so there are like seven teams in the league, right? Uh, right. They all played each other in two separate competitions for the chance to play in this final. Okay. First, they each played 10 games, the spring competition, and Cavalry FC won, earned a spot in the final. And then they reset all the points and each played another 18 games in the fall competition uh -huh. to see which other team should play in the finals. Oh, so Forge FC won the fall competition. Cavalry also won that. Look, that doesn't matter. The point is, whoever wins today will be the inaugural champion. So before this year, there were no pro soccer teams in Canada? Oh, well, if you want to get into that, then you better take a seat. As soon as we find another chair. Right. Wow. Before 2019, there were only like three or four, let's say three, pro clubs in the country. But they played most of their games with our American neighbors. These seven new clubs will play in their own league, the Canadian Premier League. I know what you're thinking, and no, don't worry, there won't be any kind of a turf war. I know most other countries have had their own pro leagues for decades. This is going to be something new to go alongside the MLS. No reason why we can't enjoy both and celebrate both. Right? So, first off, I'd like to introduce Eva Havaris, the Vice President of League Operations at CPL and the Vice President of Strategy at Canadian Soccer Business. <laughs> Eva has previously served as the CEO of Equine Canada and Taekwondo Canada, and she's also got coaching experience at the University of Toronto, Fanshawe, and Western. And you're a local girl here, right? You grew up in London, so Western Mustangs is your team, too. I just have a quick question for you, Eva. CPL is kicking off April 27th. Lots of different uh, home openers coming up soon. What's a match that you are most looking forward to as the CPL kicks off? I didn't realize we were going to talk already. Oh, no, let's go. Okay, so um, say that again. What match are you most... <laughs> it's good, eh? It's good. Hi, London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what match are you most looking forward to for the CPL? Uh... I would encourage everybody, if you can get out to it, actually uh, the home opener in Halifax is going to be incredible. So it's a city that, um, this is their first pro sports team. They're building right uh, at the Wanderers Ground, which is an iconic place in Halifax. Um, so brand new stadium, pop-up stadium. They're using, using shipping containers as their sort of VIP premium seating. So very community-oriented, community feel. Uh, Volkswagen, as our, one of our main founding partners, took the jersey in Halifax, so you'll see 5,000 plus people in the stands. They're giving away a free jersey to everybody in the first game. Wow. It's going to be incredible. So awesome. it's a little bit far, but it's worth it. If you've never been to Halifax, it's a great time. Now's the time to go. Thank you very much. Yeah. Of course, professional sports wouldn't exist without the fans. Hamilton, Ontario is home to Forge FC and their supporters group, the Barton Street Battalion, led by this gentleman over here. 
For Forge FC's first away game, this group of footy lovers made the 1300 kilometer trip to Halifax, Nova Scotia. Every single one of us drank for free that weekend, all the locals. Were... <laughs> and of course there are others. Cavalry FC have got the Foot Soldiers, FC Edmonton has the River Valley Vanguard, York 9 has Generation 9, there's Pacific FC's Lakeside Boys, Halifax has the Privateers, and Valor FC has the Red River Rising. The travel was always going to be a challenge in this league, but for many fans it gives them a reason to see the other parts of Canada they would otherwise never visit and bring their team colors with them. So we have ourselves a league. We saw the inaugural goal. It is Cyrus Mullins. Let's move on. We saw the imaginative mascots. We heard the podcasts. Look very deliberate the way the elbow went up. We saw young players make their breakthroughs. This league came at the perfect time. We saw the 40 yard screamers. Distance from Aparicio. We saw the highlight reel saves. We saw that Cadell Thomas goal. We saw milestone victories in both the Voyager's Cup and the CONCACAF League. We saw some moments of madness and pure stupidity. But all in all, we saw something Canadian soccer fans had never seen before. Never mind your 905 Darbies and your Al Classicals. We saw the league's first natural rivalry between Forge FC and Cavalry FC. season full of them first game first goal first win and today the first leg of the inaugural canadian premier league finals the squad he turned around the wrong way cc to borges tristan borges handball penalty borges versus carducci tristan borges save what Logo a save carducci are you kidding me massive save by carducci it's gonna be crutzen oh. hits the bar the second time 
Forge has gone up the ball. Nanko flicks on. Carducci takes. Nanko. Turns. What a move. A little bit of magic from Chris Nanko. Cuts it back. Forge. Wielded comes straight through on Borges. Leaves something in as well. A little bit of a kick out as Wielding goes down. It's going off. And Borges is being sent off. Oh my. Predictions? Predictions? Okay. Predictions? 2 1 Hamilton Ford! <laughs> <laughs> First ever CPL champion! Woo! Don't give a shit if New York and Calvary. Cause we are the famous Ford FC. Ford, Ford, wherever you may be. We are the famous Ford FC. And we don't give a heck. Ten yards. Kiva Marque, Cisse. Kiva Marque. Calvary is falling now on the orange field. Calvary is falling now, falling now, falling now. Calvary is falling down on the orange field. Hands on your throw in.
Nice turn, nice turn. Repeat on me. Half time thoughts? More of the same. More of the same. <laughs> happy where you are now there's no other place you'd, uh, you'd want to be of, uh, of any seven teams in this league but uh, you know once we get back to the the drawing board there's always things that uh, you want to improve on you want to be a better team you know it's uh, there's certain areas of the field you know and we've scored in every game and uh, I think we can score more goals some games maybe we don't get uh, get enough goals uh, we took a challenge on ourselves a little bit of better on ourselves as an organization when uh, Emery Walshman left and, and we gave the reins to guys like uh, Anthony Novak and Marcel uh, Zayac, who, you know, it's many people wouldn't do. You know, we don't have many teams in the league who have put the, their attacking prowess of their team on Canadians. If you look at us here at Forge, all of our attacking players, if you look at the front three and everything coming in behind, is all Canadian. Um, so that's a bet we took on ourselves. Why? Because I believe in it. You know, 15 years ago, I came back to this country and worked in the development side of the game. Why? Because I believe in Canadians. And I wanted to do that same thing um, coming into this team. So that's a bet we took on ourselves, and uh, it's a bet that uh, that paid off. But definitely, you go into next season, and here's what you know. Everyone's going to be uh, better. Every team in this league is going to be better because everyone's learned. You know, we learned after the first two weeks of losing eight points that, hey, we need to be better. 
Uh, we wanted to be champions, but if it's something to want, there's another thing to do. So we needed to get better, and it's the same thing we'll look in the off season because we know everyone else will be more up to the challenge next year, and uh, probably won't see you know two teams, us and Cavalry, um, who uh, you know if you look at it over the 30 games of the CPL season, 28 and two in the playoffs, the 30 that we've played, you know we've we've finished with the best record in the in the league. I think there'll be some more teams up there next year. We are the Forge, the mighty, mighty Forge. We just don't think you understand. We're gonna drink some beer. We won the league this year. We are the mighty, mighty Forge. We are the Forge, the mighty, mighty Forge. We just don't think you understand. And we're gonna drink some beer. We won the league this year. We are the Some might say it was a phantom elbow. I don't know. <laughs> the story goes, I got him. I got him good. I got him good. <laughs>